Hi everybody, I'm Josh Ali from Josh Ali Creative. Uh, I'm a graphic designer, illustrator, and animator. I just wanted to make this video to uh, show you my process for this Invincible piece I just finished. Uh, Invincible is a superhero TV show on Amazon Prime, and its new season is coming up this November. Um, the piece that I made depicts a scene from the show. It's not an actual shot from the show, but it's a scene that uh, is inspired by the show and an actual event that happens in the show. In this video, I'm going to show you the tools that I used and the ways that I went about using those tools to create the final image and illustration. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. These are the tools that I used. I used the Copic Marker 72 Set A. Um, those were the colors that I used specifically. Um, these are the close-ups. So I use yellow, orange, and variances of blue. As well as for skin tones, I used peach, uh, tan, and then red for the blood and uh, the micron pen I had for line work, as well as the brush pen I showed there. I started with a number two pencil to get my rough outline in uh, of the character poses and the composition. Once I was more certain on that, I began to go through with a mechanical pencil and refine the lines. My main references for this project were action figures and images from the show as well as rewatching it so that I could get the situation right and get some of the nuances I may not have been able to get. The next step of the piece was going through and coloring the black and whites using different gray tones. I used the uh, warm one, three, and seven primarily for the background scenes, but as well as for his uh, costume tones and the different shadow tones that are present in the piece. So I tried to use as much contrast as possible while also making ways to blend through into the darker tones from the light tones. This piece depicts Mark as he sheds his vigilante persona and transforms into a full-fledged superhero. He learns quickly that he has huge responsibilities of saving and protecting as well as being conscious of the consequences his actions could spell. Mark is battling an alien rival who has upgraded himself to challenge Mark during an alien invasion. We're currently at the blacks and white phase of the drawing, which sets the foundation for the tones that the color will blend with to create volume and atmosphere. The reason for the figures are they act as models and as reference for the shadows, highlights, and values, much like a still life setup would be for an illustration or painting. I'll return when we get to the next step of the piece, which is adding color. Now let's talk about the coloring process. I chose to work with Copic markers from Set A for their vibrant and blendable properties. These markers allowed me to achieve smooth gradients and very rich colors. Current colors I'm using on screen are New Leaf, Chatteroos, uh, Yellow Green, and Cadmium Red, as well as Carmine, which is another version of red, which I use for the dark contrast of the bright Cadmium Red. red. For Mark's costume, I used Light Blue, Process Blue, and Peacock Blue for his chest and leg areas. I also used yellow and cadmium yellow for his gloves and mask. Then for the dark areas of the suit, I used special black and warm gray number 9 mixed with variations of lesser gray colors to create gradation and highlights. On the alien armor, I used warm grays 1, 3, and 7 for sleek and blended transitions as well as hints of process blue and peacock blue. To contrast the metallic smooth suit, the use of cadmium red and carmine red were used in the cape to show relentlessness and strength. The splatters of the same color on the fist and gauntlet show the results of a bloody battle between Mark and his rival as they both landed blows in the invasion. Within the background I used Shadaroos, New Leaf, and Yellow Green in the bushes. Other colors I used were Cool Shadow Blue for the glass and Mustard Yellow for the tannish buildings. The final colored piece was the Tank on Fire. For this I used the previously mentioned greens and grays. For the fire element, I used chrome orange, cadmium yellow, and regular yellow.
Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below who I should draw next. Stay tuned for more illustration and graphic design tutorials.